thank you. Um, I can't uh, express uh, how important it is from our experience in working with small businesses, how important it is to be connected to your chambers right now. Um, you know, as, as was just mentioned, this has been really a difficult year for businesses. I can't remember uh, a time where we've had so much uh, difficulty. So, uh, so important to remain connected and your chamber is probably the best way to do that. So um, my hat's off to the chamber and, and everything that you have done, pull this together and what you do to continue to help uh, your chamber members in the community. So thank you, appreciate it. So I wanted to uh, really get into some of the uh, some of the things that the One Stop Shop Business Center provides to small businesses. Uh, explain some of our services, and um, I hope that uh, you know that I do have some questions. I'm not sure. Uh, do we actually have live questions, or will they only be in chat? Is there someone that can tell me? I'm assuming that means it's just chat. So uh, we'll move forward from there. I think, um, you know, just kind of uh, piggybacking on earlier comments, um, maybe one of the more important things to mention right off the bat is the tremendous work that um, our county executive and all of economic development has done during this pandemic to help all of the small businesses, as many small businesses as we can in Oakland County. Um, I hope you are aware of the, the multiple uh, grant programs that have been rolled out, uh, the millions of dollars uh, in grants that have been awarded to small businesses in Oakland County. Um, and, you know, we still have uh, active programs that I think are really important for um, small businesses to take a look at. So one of the things you want to do is uh, go to AdvantageOakland.com and look at uh, you know, one of the tabs there that says uh, grant, grants and loans. Um, and in that tab, you'll see more information about some of the, uh, some of the grants that are uh, now open and uh, that you can take advantage of. Um, so why don't we go right into a, a little PowerPoint that I have uh, prepared here, uh, just to talk about the services of the One Stop Shop for those of you who don't know us. Um, we've been around for a number of years, and basically uh, what we do is, is three main things for small businesses in Oakland County. One is uh, a lot of education and training that we provide. Most of, most of that is in the form of uh, like two to three hour workshops. Uh, those are generally at no cost. Um, and so you can register for those workshops online, again, uh, going to advantageoakland.com. And uh, the topics range from, you know, how to start a business all the way to uh, topics on social media like LinkedIn and how to use uh, social media to help in your marketing. So um, in the course of a year, we'll put well over 600 people through that training. And what's different this year is that, of course, uh, due to the situation, we've put all of our uh, workshops uh, available online. So um, you can register for a workshop at any, any time. Uh, workshops are going on on a weekly basis. And uh, we see that there are a number of people that are, that are taking advantage of that. I think we've already seen at least 800 people take advantage of the uh, virtual workshops. So. Um, Education and training is a big part of what we do uh, to help our entrepreneurs and small businesses. The second thing that we do is, uh, and, and really what takes most of our time is one-on-one -on -one consulting. So on any given day, our uh, group of consultants uh, will be meeting with small business owners um, and, and talking about topics all the way from, you know, I want to start a business. How do I do that? What are the most important things I need to do? Uh, how do I secure a loan? Uh, all the way to, you know, I need help in growing my business, or or maybe I need help kind of stabilizing things because things have gone a little bit sideways uh, for various reasons. Um, so that one-on-one -on -one consulting is really the core of what we're doing. And then I, I said there were three things. The third thing is uh, really uh, initiatives and programs that we have to uh, 
really reach a broader broader or audience and, and help small businesses in other ways other than direct one-on-one -on -one consulting. And I can explain a little bit more of that as we uh, move through the presentation. So, you know, when I talk about the one-on-one uh, -on -one consulting, um, you know, the, the question is, well, what are you doing in those consulting sessions? And really when we look at, you know, we go through a course of a year and we look at all the work that we've done, these are some of the, the main topics that we, we cover with small businesses. Um, and so these are the most popular things we're working on. We do a tremendous amount of market analysis, uh, market research uh, to help companies understand uh, their unique market, who their, who their target market is, um, and where is that target market and ideas on how to, uh, how to reach them. The second bullet point on here is loan package development. Um, you know, small business uh, requires funding and re requires capital to launch a business and to grow a business, of course. Um, in the course of a year, we will help small businesses um, secure capital through traditional uh, banks and other lenders. Um, typically, we'll do about 20 to $25 million worth of that type of work. And what I mean by that is that we're sitting down uh, with an entrepreneur or small business owner, and we're working through all of the items that a typical lender would want to see um, when you apply for a loan. Um, our experience on our team and working in this area uh, really provides a banker's look at, at the package before it goes to the lender for review. So we can tell you, hey, here's, here's where you need to beef, beef things up. Uh, they're going to expect this cash flow projection. Here's how that works. You need to understand it. Um, so it's a real sit down and educational process for most of our uh, most of our entrepreneurs that we work with. Um, and then we'll work with them to locate a few sources for, uh, for that capital. So generally the companies we're working with are looking for anywhere from 20,000 to maybe $2 million worth of capital to, uh, to grow the business or start the business. And we do a lot of that work in the course of a year. Now, right underneath that bullet point is financial analysis. And we all know you know, business, it's all about money, right? Uh, you've got to be successful in uh, generating positive cash flow for your business. And we do uh, work with a lot of folks in, in helping them understand their financials uh, better so that they can improve profitability, uh, the most important part of, of running that business. So when we, when I say do analysis, I mean, we actually have a you know huge database of uh, financial uh, data from companies around the the country. Uh, that data allows us to do a lot of benchmarking, and uh, so we can take a company like yours and compare it to other companies in the same industry, the same size, and in the same region of the country, and then compare all of your um, you know, your financial information so that we can, we can really see, well, how are you doing in, you know, inventory, in accounts receivables, in, you know, profitability, in your um, overhead cost in comparison to others like you in the industry. Tremendously valuable for small business to really get a handle on that. Um, and so we do a pretty comprehensive analysis. When, uh, you know, we talked about earlier market research, of course, that leads to market plans. And, uh, you know, we spend a lot of time, uh, especially with our uh, new entrepreneurs, really helping them narrow in and get really focused on who their target market is. Um, you know, it's, I know it, it may sound funny to some of you, but, you um, we really spend a lot of time on that with new entrepreneurs so that we make sure that we're not identifying, and this is kind of the, the, the phrase that we use, it's not really who could buy your product or service. It's really who's most likely to now. 
And that is a pretty narrow target. And uh, it's really important to get to that target so that we can really put together a comprehensive marketing plan. So um, our databases, our marketing databases, uh, allow us not only to identify that target market, but to help us really understand that target market to, to the point where we know how to communicate with that target market. Um, you know, the other, um, other bullet point here talks about process. Um, we found, you know, through years of, of consulting, uh, have found that a lot of the issues that small businesses run across uh, eventually uh, have their heart in process issues. Um, so we've got examples of so many of our small businesses who started out maybe in the basement or uh, in the garage, and now they're employing 10 or 20 people and they've grown significantly, but some of the key processes haven't really changed uh, to, to really become more efficient. Um, so, you know, our ability to go in and do process mapping with uh, a customer uh, to help them see uh, really in black and white the process that they're currently using and where they might be able to improve that process has been uh, one of our real successes in the last few years is something that we didn't, uh, we didn't provide that service maybe five years ago and started, once we started to provide this service, the value uh, has been uh, remarkable for our clients. Last bullet point here really talks about strategy. Um, having a team with about 75 plus years or more of small business consulting experience uh, we've seen a lot of small businesses and a lot of different industries. And with that experience, um, we're able to help people uh, take a, a deep dive at what, what is really the strategy? How are you going to operate the business? How are you going to market the business? And, and so on. So we do spend a lot of time in, uh, in discussion with our entrepreneurs and small business owners just around general strategy for growing the business. There's a couple of things, that, there's a few things that I think make us different than the average consulting group. One is we have a team that's tremendously experienced in consulting with small businesses. So that vast amount of experience uh, really pays off, especially because we really work as a team. So as opposed to just a one-on-one -on -one client relationship, most of our clients will have an experience where they work with multiple consultants. We'll have a lead consultant, but that consultant will bring in our other consultants based on the expertise that's needed at the time. So it's a very much a team effort in our group. And we really like and, and uh, value data. And so we have a tremendous amount, uh, we have a tremendous toolkit that allows us to provide a lot of analysis and a lot of data to our entrepreneurs and small business owners. Data that helps them really make smarter decisions about their business and where it is and where they wanna bring it. So these are just examples of some of the tools that we use. The first one is a, a tool called Business Analyst. Uh, it's a geographical information systems tool, uh, basically, GIS is taking data and using that data to create a map. So if you've ever used MapQuest or, or any of those uh, products, you're familiar with GIS. The way that we use it is um, we'll, we have a tremendous marketing database of information, uh, consumer spending information, uh, you know, census information, and so on that allows us to identify, remember I talked earlier about target markets, but we can identify a particular uh, consumer segment that really matches up with, with who you're trying to reach. And our GIS business analyst tool will allow us really to map that, to see where they physically are by census block, 
So we can get down into neighborhoods uh, to really show you that th this group of people uh, have these types of spending habits. Uh, it might be they, they spend a lot of money on Pilates uh, or they spend uh, a lot of money on uh, men's clothing or what have you. Um, and also tell you really interesting things about the lifestyle of that person. Where do they typically like to vacation? Where do they get their news from? And all of these things that really help you as an entrepreneur understand how are you gonna reach that client? Um, very valuable tool. It's one of the ones I think people get really turned on about when they see the, the power of it. Um, so I always like to talk about that. Um, you know, when I mentioned financial analysis before, we've got some tools that we use to help do that. And uh, those tools are really pretty sophisticated. So we're able to, to work with a small business, uh, run a financial analysis in comparison, um, and, and provide them a pretty detailed report on all of their financial ratios. Um, maybe it doesn't sound like the most exciting thing, but when you think about how important that is from the perspective of understanding how to improve profitability, that maybe is the most valuable tool that we have in our toolbox. Um, you know, there's a number of templates that we use as well. Uh, you see something on here called Growth Wheel. Uh, it's a great product uh, that basically uh, allows us to, um, to provide templates uh, to the conversation we're having with an entrepreneur. So for instance, we might be having a very broad uh, conversation on marketing strategy, and we have growth wheel templates that allow us to um, really kind of get to the nuts and bolts of what is it that you're trying to accomplish with your marketing. Um, so those templates, although very simple in nature, are really valuable in helping us uh, weed through and, and get to kind of the heart of some of the basic questions and answers uh, for our clients. Um, so we use Growth Wheel uh, quite a bit as well. But uh, you know, the tools, really important part of uh, providing what we think is a really uh, rich data to our clients to have some very important conversations about, you know, how do you want to start your business? Who's your target market? Um, you know, how is your cash flow? Uh, all of those really important things. So those are the things that we really um, kind of provide the, the overview of what we do and how we do it. Um, so I've kind of gone through that. Remember I said there were three kind of pillars as to what we do, um, that really explains the, the, the consulting piece of what we do. The, the educational piece uh, I explained a little bit earlier, uh, but I do wanna mention that if you're interested in uh, uh, you know, going to some of our workshops that actually explain some of the, how we use these tools better, uh, explain some of these basic concepts, um, you can go to Advantage Oakland you can get a full list of, of the workshops that are coming up. You can register online. You can participate um, just, just like you're doing today from home and uh, have the ability to, to ask questions. We've got some of those workshops are archived. So you know if you're, if you're uh, looking for something to do at 1 or 2 a.m. in the morning, you can go to our database, uh, pull up one of, one of the workshops that are archived and take a look at that as well. So uh, that. Um, really covers the, the consulting piece and the uh, education piece. Uh, the last thing I wanna talk about is I mentioned the, the third thing was that we have initiatives and also different projects that, uh, that we will be involved in in the course of a year to help small businesses as well. So you know, one of the initiatives you may have heard of um, is called Tech 248. Tech 248 uh, started about five years ago. Uh, it is basically a network of tech companies in Oakland County. Uh, that network consists of about 2,000 companies or 2,000 people from about 800 different companies across 
Oakland County and actually beyond because uh, the network is open. The main function of Tech 248 is really to help tech companies connect with each other. Uh, we have done that uh, largely through uh, meetup events, which of course have been put on hold, but we anticipate uh, that those will be back, hopefully here. Um, you know, in a few months, we'll be able to do uh, some virtual things and, and hopefully soon get back to a one-on-one -on -one face to face uh, networking. Uh, but Tech 24 has been really helpful in helping our company, our tech companies connect. Um, so that's uh, probably the major initiative that we have been involved in as a group. Uh, the Tech 248 network, um, largely consist of small businesses. Um, and so if, if you are a tech company or interested in tech, uh, it's something uh, for you to take a look at. Um, we also do a thing called walk-in Thursday uh, that allows people to, to come in and um, without appointment, uh, talk to one of our counselors for 15, 20 minute consultation, um, maybe get pointed in the right direction, uh, decide whether you want to engage with us further. Uh, we have taken that virtual as well. So on Thursdays, uh, basically, uh, you register for counseling and right on that day, we'll set you up for uh, an opportunity to talk to one of our consultants. Um, so, you know, there that's an example of some of the projects and initiatives that we're involved in as well. Uh, it's all designed to try to do the best we can to help our small businesses here in Oakland County. Um, all of the services are provided at no cost. Uh, the only time when you might have a little bit of cost is uh, some of the workshops uh, we do in partnership uh, with some, some of our county entrepreneurs. Uh, there may be a slight charge for that workshop, uh, but we'd be talking maybe $40, $45. Um, most of our workshops are no cost and the service is available at no cost as long as your business is an Oakland County business or you're an Oakland County resident looking to start a business in Oakland County. So I really hope that, um, you know, I was able to give you a, a good overview of, of what we do and, um, you know, help you understand a little bit more about the, the business center. Uh, it's one of the one of the comments we get most often is, "Wow, we didn't know that you were out there." So we do a lot of this kind of outreach and try to reach as as many people as we can uh, to tell them about our service. So um, with that, I think uh, I can, uh, you know, open it up to uh, to questions. And I don't know if we want to do that through chat or how we want to do that. Greg, I'm going to just start with a question for you. First of all, thank you very much. My first and most important question is, is that fireplace behind you real? <laughs> it is not. You know, I had to find some place, something that was really interesting for the audience to look at besides my face. <laughs> no, I think it was really good. Hey, that, that was fantastic. My serious question, and this is from Donna, um, she wanted to know, if things during this COVID period of time, if businesses around the area are using you more and are they using your business services to help them pivot into something new and modify their business so they can react and stay ahead of the challenges that the businesses are facing, uh, you know, in sectors that have been hurt by COVID-19? Yeah, I mean, that's a great question. So, you know, our work changed dramatically, just like small businesses, uh, you know, you, you've seen the dramatic change as well. So we've, we've done a tremendous amount of work in, uh, you know, really uh, reaching out to our clients, making them aware of the different uh, grants and loans and, you know, and educate, educating them on, you know, the Paycheck Protection Program and uh, the EIDL uh, loans and all of the grant opportunities that are available. So we've, that's, that's been one big change for us is we've spent a lot of time on that. Um, but now, uh, and I think you said it was Donna that had the question, Donna, um, you're right. And, you know, where businesses are right now is how, how do we pivot to really help us survive through the next, uh, you know, the, the next, uh, what looks like a wave here is hopefully not, but, um, so yeah, that pivot, um, and, you know, when I was talking about some of the marketing research that we do, 
uh, that's been part of it for us is uh, the data that we're getting from, you know, Brookings Institute, your monitor and other organizations around how things have changed um, in these uh, in these different market segments. So again, we identify that target market and, and we can identify lifestyles and demographics on that market. Now we're saying, okay, here's how they're reacting in, uh, in, in the uh, space of this pandemic and what's changing for them, uh, which provides the, you know, some good insight for our entrepreneurs to really help make some more pivots to their business to, to help them through this. So um, that's, yeah, that, that's been a, a big portion of, of where we've been spending our time. Greg, we only have a minute or two more, but just one more quick question. I was talking to a friend who's getting ready to open a business soon, a hair salon here in the area. And, and uh, Suzanne and I were talking while you were sharing what your business development <laughs> can do and get things right down to, you know, what's happening in your square mile. What kind of consumers are there? Does it make sense to put your business where you're thinking about doing it? Uh, my friend doesn't happen to be in Oakland County, but. Oh my gosh, Suzanne and I were just, while you were talking about, I, you know, people don't know the resources that they have. If they're getting ready to pivot their business or start their business. So um, really cool what you talked about today. And and if someone is starting a, a small local retail operation, of which we have many in West Bloomfield, you can pinpoint the consumer activity right in their neighborhood, right? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you know, when we're talking to someone that's getting ready to start up, you know, one of the things we're trying to help them with is, okay, given what you want to do and who you're targeting, what is the best location? Um, but if the, the business is already located in a community, then we really want to provide the education about, okay, like how far do people come to, to go to your store or your salon? Will they travel half an hour? Will they travel only 10 minutes? Let's take a look at what that 10 minute drive time uh, demographic looks like. Who's Who lives in that area? And uh, how do we use that to our advantage from a marketing perspective and understanding here's what people in the area do, here's what they like. Well, Greg, thank you very much. Uh, Suzanne, do you have any questions for Greg? Just thank you again. And uh, Greg, will you just, uh, it's not oak.gov, how do people get a hold of you? Um, well, for me, I can, what I can do is, uh, you know, put, put that in the chat if that would help, but it's uh, Doyle G, D-O-Y-L-E G, at oakgov.com. Okay, that's great. Yeah, and I'll keep directing our small businesses and new members and anyone else that needs the information because I think you provide such a val invaluable um, service. And so thank you so much. Oh, thank you. I mean, this was a great experience, uh, Suzanne. You did a great job with this and the, the other uh, chamber folks that were involved in organizing this. My hat's off to you. I think this is fantastic. Great. Thank, thank, you. thank you very much. And thanks for your participation on the Megacast with uh, myself and Tyler and Ronnie Dahl. And we look forward to continuing to uh, share the information that you have with people in West Bloomfield and around the county. And I put your email link up here in the chat so oh, great. I can, uh, can get to it. Thank you very much. Thanks. Very, thank very you. Much. Appreciate it.